We're going to be exploring three-digit subtraction. This is lesson 11.6. We used a spinner to build numbers for addition back in video 11.2. We can play the same game for subtraction. Think of and write down several three-digit numbers. We spin the spinner twice to make a two-digit subtrahend. Now we have three-digit minuends and two-digit subtrahends, and we could subtract. Remember to regroup if needed, okay? So remember, the first number is the minuend, the second number is the subtrahend, and the answer is the difference. So I made a little chart here, and here's the three-digit minuends that I came up with. I'm going to spin the spinner to come up with some two-digit subtrahends, and then we're going to subtract and find the difference, okay? So I've got my spinner here, and I've got my numbers 1 through 9. You could even have a 0 if you want to, and you could use number cubes, dice, and you can even use playing cards. Um, use playing cards that are 9 or less, okay? Don't use the big numbered cards. So let's spin this two times and come up with a 10s and a 1s to be able to subtract. So we get a 4. That's going to be our 10s. We spin it again, and we get a 1. So now we have 571 minus 41. So that means we have 500s, 7 tens, and 1 1. 500s, 7 tens, and 1 1. We're going to subtract 4 tens and 1 1. All right? 4 tens and 1 1. Okay? The first thing we do is we subtract the 1s. Then we subtract the tens, then we subtract the hundreds. We start on this side and then slowly move our way over. One, take away one, is zero, isn't it? So we have zero ones. We have seven tens, take away four tens. Well, that's three tens. And because there isn't anything here, we just drop the five down. Our answer is five hundreds, three tens, and zero ones. Let's do it again. When you play this, you can do as many numbers as you want. It's good practice. We've got a 6, so we'll have 6 tens, and let's do it again, and we have 5 ones. So we're going to subtract 65 from 316. That's 3 hundreds, 1 ten, and 6 ones, isn't it? Three hundreds, one ten, and six ones. And we're going to subtract six tens and five ones. Six ones take away five ones is just one one, isn't it? We don't need that S now. One ten take away six tens. Uh-oh, we can't do that, can we? You can't have one and take six away. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to regroup. We're going to have to take one of these hundreds... And now that's going to become two hundreds. And we're going to have to give it to the tens place. So now, instead of one ten, we have ten plus one is eleven. We have eleven tens. See that? Now we have eleven tens take away six tens. That's eleven. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. That's a 5. And 5 plus 6 is 11, isn't it? So that worked out right. And then we just drop down our hundreds. Okay? So we had to regroup. Remember that there are 10 tens in 100. If we had 10 of these, if we did 10 of these, we'd have 100, wouldn't we? And we can count by tens, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So we have 10 tens, we can, and that's 100. We just take that away from the hundreds place and give it to the tens place. We already had one, so now that 10 tens plus one ten made the 11 tens, see? We just borrowed it from that hundreds place. We took it from that hundreds place, and it became a two, all right? So let's see if we can find the difference and regroup if necessary. We have three hundreds, seven tens, and six ones as our minuend, 
and we have 100 four tens and eight ones as our subtrahend. Okay, so we're going to start with the ones place. We have six ones, and we need to take away eight ones. Ah, we're going to have to regroup, aren't we? Because the eight is bigger, the subtrahend is bigger. So we're going to cross this out, and instead of it being seven tens, it's going to be six tens. And we're going to give that 10 to the ones place. So now we don't have six ones anymore. We have 16 ones, okay? And 16 take away eight is, do you know? If you said eight, you're right, because eight plus eight is 16. If we have six tens and we take away four tens, we have, do you know, two tens. Four plus two is six, see? We can check it with subtraction and addition, see? Because they're all fact families. Okay, three hundreds take away one hundred is two hundreds. So our answer is two hundred, two tens, and eight ones. I should say two hundreds, shouldn't it? Okay, let's try that again. We have eight hundreds, zero tens, and four ones, and we need to take away two hundreds, five tens, and nine ones. We start with the ones place. We have four ones and we need to take nine away. Uh-oh. We can't do that, can we? we? We have too many that we're trying to take away. And now look, we can't borrow and regroup from the tens place because it's got zero tens. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to move over one more time. This eight is going to become a seven because we're going to take one of the hundreds away and we're going to give it to the tens place because 10 tens make 100, right? Now the ones place can borrow one of the 10. It's going to become a nine. And instead of four ones, we're going to have 14 ones. That was a lot of regrouping, wasn't it? 14 take away nine. Do you know what it is? If you said five, you're correct. 9 take away 5 is 4, and 7 take away 2 is 5. We have 5 hundreds, 4 tens, and 5 ones. So what happened was we couldn't regroup because there were no tens. So the tens had to borrow from the hundreds, and 10 tens are 100, right? We figured that out right, right here. And now the ones can borrow one of these tens, couldn't it? So it became a nine, and we regrouped that ten to the ones place as a fourteen, because there were already four ones, so the ten plus the four made fourteen. All right? I'm going to work with this more in the next video. We're going to do three-digit subtraction with place values, and maybe it'll make more sense to you. If you watch every single one of my videos in my playlists, you'll do very well throughout the school year because you'll know things that other children won't and you might even be able to work ahead and get good grades, okay? So I hope I'll see you in the next video and we'll talk about three-digit subtraction some more, all right? Hit the like button if I've helped you. I'll see you next time. Bye.